Hey guys, what's up? This is Mario here, bringing you guys another video, and today I want to go over what the Trials of Osiris is. So, if you don't know already, in the House of Wolves uh, DLC for Destiny, there's going to be a new Crucible game mode added called the Trials of Osiris. Um, and essentially, this is going to be something new for PvP players to reach uh, what we expect to be the level cap. Uh, similar to how PvE players can reach the level cap through the Prison of Elders Arena mode, um, but uh, except you can do it in PvP. And so today we're going to go over how you get into the Trials of Osiris, what exactly it is, and also the rewards that you can get from it. So uh, let's start off with how you're going to get into the Trials of Osiris. Um, so the, the, the way that it was data mined that you get into the Trials of Osiris is that there's one of two ways to get in. The first way is to uh, randomly get a tournament ticket from the Crucible. Uh, so once the Trials of Osiris launches, essentially how this would work is that uh, tournament tickets would be added into the loot drops in the Crucible um, and there'd be a random chance that you would get a tournament ticket and once you get a tournament ticket you can enter the Trials of Osiris or you can essentially unlock it for a bit. Um, and then the other way to get into it was to buy your way in. So uh, the last time that I heard about it, um, it was essentially going to be like an Osiris coin, I think is what it was called. And you could buy an Osiris coin from a vendor in the tower for one mote of light, I believe it was. That might be increased, might be decreased, and that's not confirmed either. Um, but that's how I remember it. So you can either buy your way in or you can randomly earn it. So, you know, either one is good. Uh, but it's all in the, in the same event, and once you unlock it, um, then essentially how it works is that it's a 3v3 Crucible game mode, uh, which is pretty general. You can take a team of three in there if all of you have got into the, the Trials of Osiris, um, or you'll have to randomly match with a team. And you want to hope, it, it'd be best if you could get a team together to do this, because it is going to require some form of teamwork for a reason that I'll explain in just a bit. Now, we don't know if it's going to be like a game mode that we already have, like Clash, Salvage, or Skirmish. Um, or even control, but we don't. We, we honestly don't know too much about it just yet because Bungie could have changed it a lot since we last heard about it. Um, but yeah, that's basically what we know is that it's going to be PvP matches, uh, hopefully on random maps. Uh, again, when we first data mined it, um, we was going to only be playing on the Burning Shrine, which is the Mercury map. Um, but that might not be the case anymore, they might have changed that, we're not too sure. Uh, but anyways, now let's get on to like, how it works, like the system and why it's so rewarding. So essentially the way it works is that you have to win to stay in the Trials of Osiris. If you don't win, um, if you lose uh, three games in a row, you get knocked out and the only way back in is to get another tournament ticket or to buy another Osiris coin. And I'm using those as placeholder names by the way, those are uh, confirmed names for anything. Um, but that's how it works essentially. You lose three times, then you're out. And you've got to keep winning and keep winning. Uh, and if you get too unlucky, you get knocked out. Now, of course, uh, if you manage to keep on winning and keep on winning, there are going to be several rewards. Uh, we do know that there's going to be uh, full sets of armor for each class. Um, as you can see in the picture that I'll put, put up on screen now. Uh, and they all kind of revolve around like Egyptian theme and Egyptian gods uh, sort of thing. Uh, which, and it does look pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. And then in the picture as well, you can also see that we have a... One of them is holding an auto rifle and one of them is holding a hand cannon. I can't remember if the, the middle one is holding anything, but I don't think he is. Um, but essentially, we know what the hand cannon is, and the hand cannon is called the Jewel of Osiris. Uh, and this is, of course, going to be some end game um, weapons for PvP players. Uh, which is of course really good because it means that if you're a PvP player then you have the ch you have your own set of gear that you can get which is really cool. Personally I'm going to be playing both but uh, anyways let's get off of that subject again. Um, so there's obviously going to be weapon and armor rewards uh, for competing in the Trials of Osiris. Uh, which is excellent to be honest because yeah like I say then PvP players have a chance to hit the level cap without having to play PvE. Um, now, there's another thing that has also been data mined in the in the database, and it's called the Halls of Amentet, uh, which is actually a third social space, and that's, this is very strange, actually. Uh, it is located on Mercury, so who knows how we're actually going to get there. Uh, and you, the maximum amount of players that can be in the uh, Halls of Amentet is three. So there can only be three players in it at once. Uh, and the description of this thing reads, Only true champions tested in the Trials of Osiris dare set foot in these fabled halls. So, 
we d honestly don't know how uh, when this when this uh, what this uh, social area, the halls of Amentet, will contain. Nor do we know it might it might just be in the tower, but it does say that the destination is Mercury, uh, which would lead me to believe that it's going to be a third social space. And you might maybe you get access to this after you win a certain amount of games in the Trials of Osiris. Um, we currently don't know too much about this. I can't really uh, say anything with facts except for my opinions. Uh, which is that you'll be able to buy some form of excellent, like, endgame gear here. I'm not sure exactly what. Um, there's also a, an exotic weapon that you'll only be able to earn through the Trials of Osiris, which is the Fate of All Fools Scout Rifle. I believe it's a Scout Rifle anyways. I'd probably have to check that. Um, but this is a weapon that only one person actually has, and uh, the fun fact uh, here is that they got it because they had had a lot of heart surgery. Uh, and so Bungie gave them to it because they said, because the guy had said that Destiny helped him, uh, Destiny was going to be a game that was going to help him pass a lot of time uh, and would help him to like, you know, psychologically recover. Uh, and so they gave him a free gun just, just, just to be nice, which I think is really awesome. Uh, but everyone's going to be able to earn this once the Trials of Osiris is released, uh, which is going to be really cool, I think, and I hope it is a good weapon. Uh, but anyways, that's basically everything we currently know about the Trials of Osiris. Um, if you ha guys have any opinions, leave them in the comment section below. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, remember to smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming content. My apologies for being a bit all over the place in this video. Um, I will give you guys more updates as we go along through the House of Wolves. And remember to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Twitch. Links in the description below. And I'll see you guys in another video. So until then, ciao.